Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the shop. Hope you're having a great day. Once again, it's heat treating day. All right, here we go. Welcome back. So I don't know if you watched the live stream earlier, but I announced that I'm doing a collab with Steve Miller Knives, Steve Miller Man on Instagram. This is his design. I sent him a design and we're doing each other's knives. While I was heat treating, I decided to try some 80 CRV. I've never tried it before, so I took an old design and made it a little bit better. First time with 80 CRV, this is 52100. And unfortunately, if you watched the last heat treating video where I did CPM 3V, I, I got it to like a 62 or a 63, but when I was tempering it, you have to do three temper cycles, two hours a piece. On the third temper cycle, I was grinding and didn't realize on my PID, I set the fourth step to 1950, or I left it at 1950 from when I heat treated these. I came out after grinding and this was up to 1300. I ruined the temper. But since I got the oven cooking up, I might as well put this in. So I was just editing and I figured I better come down and put this part in. I've got a couple more rules to this knife giveaway. If you're not watching every video, you might miss the giveaway. I noticed there's like 40, 45 people that said I'm in on three to four different videos, including the live stream, and 30 of them were in the first video, which means people saw a giveaway came and said I'm in. Now that's fine, I didn't say you had to subscribe, but to make it fair to the guys that are subscribed and do watch, you have two days. If I pick your name and you don't contact me in two days, it's going back in and someone else is getting picked. Now if you say, okay, well I have an email, but my email isn't the same as my name, I pick your name, you email me, you say, oh, well, my name on my YouTube account isn't the same as my email address. That's fine. I'll give you a name or a number or something, and you go to your YouTube account and say, here's the name, it's me, and then when you email me, I'll send you your stuff. I just want to make it fair for people that watch all the time. They should get more chances. I'm not going to announce the giveaway video. Just in the next week or two, all of a sudden I'm gonna be on screen, I'm gonna put in the counter, and boom. So you better watch. If people miss and they don't contact me in two days, it goes on to someone else. Just making it fair and interesting. Back to the video. Let's get these wraps for normalization. And just like that, got my gloves on. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, if you watched my previous videos on heat treating, I did it backwards like everything else. This is 309, which only goes to 1800. The 321 is the one that goes to 2200. I've been using this for the stainless and the 1800 for normalizing. That's why you always see the box here. So somehow down the line, I got it backwards. So make sure you have the right tool wrap, because if you noticed on my last video go back and watch the cpm 3v video i'll put it up right here they worked and it got heat treated but it was just covered with d scale and all that but if you don't use any wrap at all that's even worse so make sure you're using the right tool wrap because i was using the wrong stuff all right let's get these wrapped I'm gonna wait till after I heat treat these and then I'll wrap the other one. I found out the 321 is 2000 degrees and the 309 is 2200 degrees, so it shouldn't make that big of a difference, but just a little bit, 200 degrees, and seems like it'll hold out more. Let's get these in the oven. Check this out. 
I re I'm auto tuning my oven to 1600, but it's like jumping. The numbers jump down, jump up, jump down, jump up, and then go up. Man, at least it's keep going up. So <laughs> we're getting there. All right, here we go. Woo! Why you wear gloves? <laughs> there was a little spot right here I noticed was still had light coming through, so I had to seal it up again. So it should be sealed for now. I'll be back when we're pulling these out. All right, I'm glad I went and checked the uh, info sheet because it says uh, normalization cycle, one cycle 1600, and then let it air cool. And 52100 and 80 CRV are about basically the same. So. What we're going to do now is to take it out and let it cool. I've been trying to auto-tune my oven. I, I actually messed it up a little bit more, so i got to auto-tune it again. And we're at like, we're at 1580. Let me get my pull-out things here. So now when I open the door, it's going to cool down. I'm not going to put anti-scale on this time, because 52100, I often fail with the paint on. And I've heard people say that anti-scale... You know, the anti-scale is actually a waste of time, so let's see how much scale builds up without it. Woo! Ah. From 80 CRV2 and 52100, you take it up to about 1550 for five minutes and then dunk it. Let's get this, let's get this uh, oil heating up to about 120. So as these cool off, I'm going to cut them out, and then uh, I'm going to try to see if they'll straighten up. See what we need to do to straighten them. Yeah, be real careful. Any of this touches me, it's it's still well over a thousand degrees. Woo! And there's the ABCRV. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Let's try to speed up this coin a little bit. We'll put some one of my aluminum plates on it. I'm not gonna blow air on it, but I just want to try to keep it straight. In fact. Now I always got a welding blanket down below me, just in case. I got fire bricks here and welding blankets down below. But to see if we can keep this straight. Now we're going down, the oven's cooling to 1550. It's up to like 1560, so we should be good. Now make sure when you take your thermocouple, you don't touch the steel with your fingers. Oh, we're only at 140 degrees. Good. Nice. I pulled a lot of heat out of there. Sweet. All right. This one's straight enough. Both sides. No wobbles. Straight enough. If there's a little bit of a warp, we can take it out and heat, uh, surface grinding. Same with this, barely any warp. All right, let's put them in and get them heat treated. All right, I'm heating the oil up because once it goes in, it only needs five minutes in the oven, both of them. All right, we're turning this off. That's at 120. Getting my gloves on because we are dealing with 1,550 degree Tips. Got my tongs. Ah. Whenever you can't find another glove, look on the floor. <laughs> Here we go. My first CRV2. Now with this, we're not worried about hormones or anything like that. So we're going straight in. All the way in, keeping it all the way in. 
submerging it. The back doesn't need to be soft. Nothing like that. Smoke everywhere. Back and forth. Get it moving. We got some scale. Oh, yeah, maybe you don't need any scale. Look at all that scale. As long as it's still hot, you just wipe it right off. <laughs> yeah. Nice. There's some a little bit right back here, but all right, let's get this in here. <laughs> that wasn't smart, huh? <laughs> that oil flares up nice. All right. Whew. Yeah, we're back down to 1447, 1449. So I'm sure that's up since we just dipped. I'm sure that's going way up. Let's see where our oil's at now. Yeah, 148, 140, 153, 160. So by the time the oven comes back up to temp, then the oil should cool down a little bit. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put some air on it. That's exactly why I got this fan over here too. <laughs> I put a fan on my controller because that last one where it took all those hours. This stuff was getting real hot. We don't want to cool down the oven, but maybe cool down the oil a little bit. So I guess with the 1080 CRV and maybe 51, 52, 100, we don't need any scale. I mean, that wiped right off. We're already back up to uh, uh, 1490. Now, one thing I learned with 52, 100, if you pull it right out and test it, It'll be soft because it's got to take time to cool down. Oh yeah. No scale. And see, the more it cools down, the more it skates. Man, that's all scale. Just came right off. <laughs> Where are we at? We're at 1510. And now I'm kicking it up to 1950 and throwing that CPM in, so. But I'm not gonna do that on camera. I already showed how I did it. I just ruined the temper, so. Whew. All right. Let's see if the 52100 works as good as this. <laughs> That's still hot. <laughs> That's good to know about the anti scale. I'll have to try that with 1095 and other steels. I've been wasting all that time putting that anti scale on. I think it might be time for a new pair of gloves. These things are about man. <laughs> I can't even flex in these things. <laughs> oh well. One good thing about 52100, you don't need to be as fast or anything like 1084 or 1095, so here we go. Look at all that smoke. And you want to mess it around to get those vapors through so it'll get a thorough get it agitated so alright can we, can we wipe that scale up uh, and now uh, uh. let me set that up to 1950 yeah, we weren't as lucky with this. I mean, it's not that bad, but we still have scale. 
luckily we leave the edge thick so now I'm gonna let that cool down before I test it for hardness all right we're already back up to 1540 but we are going to step five 1950 here's our CPM 3v you want to try it for the second time Woo, hot. I think I burned some of the hair on my arms on that one. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Yeah. These gloves, man, they've about seen their last day. <laughs> the right one's good because I'm left-handed. <laughs> Let's see if it skates a five. It needs to cool down more. Oh, no. It skates. <laughs> yeah. That don't even touch it. That's why I love 52100. <laughs> it used to be my favorite steel. We didn't get as lucky with the anti scale, but there isn't really too much scale on it. Just a little bit. Once they cool down, I'm going to go test them on my Rockwell tester. So that'll be next. All right. Our 52100 seems to be at about a 62. So it was kind of giving me some weird readings and I think that's because of the scale. 80 CRV2 next. And it looks like the 80 CRV2 is about 65 and a half. 66 maybe. All right. Successful heat treat. <laughs> the 52100 and the 80 CRV2 are in for their first cycle. Man, CPM 3V. I think it's a nightmare or something or it's jinxed. My oven got up to about 1700 and started failing. I tried to fix it, but the stuff fell off the door. You can see the adhesive held. It was just uh, the bricks didn't hold. So I'm going to have to make some new stuff. I got some fiberboard. It's one inch. I'll uh, have to seal it in here and then put it on in the door. So when I close the door, it seals. Because, man, I, I can feel the heat. There wasn't any heat coming off anywhere, but on the door, I tried to use some KO wool to stuff it, but then that just made it worse. So I turned the oven off and let it cool. Got to move on. Man, that was quite the, the task. Now I got to rebuild the oven and wait for tempering and all that. But at least the 52100 and the 80 CRV came out real nice. So I think that's about it. Links are down below. If you go to my website for the Amazon part, I got Spain on there now. Italy, Germany, UK, and Canada. They're all on there, so, but you have to go to my website under the Amazon part to, to get to those links. Everything's down below. Thanks for watching. I appreciate the support. Hope you're having a great day, a great week, and as always, take it easy. <laughs> this in the beginning, but I figured you have two days. If I didn't, if, I think that's about it. Hope you're having a great day. So I think that's about it. Remain now too. Remain the third one. So that's UK.